that thickening of the crust is has to be sort of compensated in some way so it doesn't just sink down, right? So what I have here is a, an example of this is the this is the lithosphere. That's the rigid part of the surface of the Earth, right? The rigid part. And we know that that lithosphere is floating in what, or is sitting on top of what? The stenosphere, which is somewhat liquid, and therefore this lithosphere is kind of riding in that liquid. Right? So I'm going to make it thicker by adding rock. <laughs> so one of the ways that we are supporting that additional thickness of crust is by having the crust flex, right? So it's flexing, and that flexure is actually helping to hold up that new load that is there. There is also that asthenosphere below that also helps to support it through buoyancy, right? I put this block on there, but the elevation when I put it there didn't go up by the thickness of the block, right? I put it on here, and it sunk a little bit. And if I keep doing that, which one should be next? This one. If I keep doing that, we keep bending it. More attested. Okay? So we get more and more of this flexing of the crust, and we get some more support from below. So we can imagine that maybe this is what it looked like at the time that we built this large range. But what have we done subsequently? When I take it away, is the surface lower by a centimeter? No, because it bounced back up. Because now we've removed some of that load the flex is a little bit less, and the asthenosphere is balancing it in such a way that the elevation here is not as low as it would be if it just were eroded off, right?